So welcome everyone to another round of Subnautica Below Zero. Last time we got to the point, we made our own pet architect named George. I know it's Alan, but I'm gonna call him George and pet him and squeeze him and hug him. But we are in need of a white tablet. Now we're supposed to be, we know where the white tablet is. We never got a recipe for it. And if you're like me, you probably missed out on the fact that Marguerite, crazy lady Marguerite, had the white tablet and is the one that threw it to her uh, pet snow stalker. You probably missed that fact much like I did because you're preoccupied with the fact she has a freaking snow stalker for a pet. I mean, come on. Why don't I get the option for that? I, I can't even get a pet pingling to work. I mean, geez, come on. And now she seems to have absconded with my tablet. So while I do not get a way to get the white tablet through normal storyline in the game right now, that's something that was going to be added later, obviously, and probably will not happen now. We do have an option of, of course, console command to try and see if it'll still work and let's at least look inside this other spot. Now, I did show previously there's an unfinished tunnel section that leads up from the red crystal area into the cave system that we were in previously. Uh, so you can get up here without having to do something, you know, really weird, uh, like building a base to do so. However, once you get to the main cave, there is a drop down you won't be able to recover from unless you remember to bring supplies to build a small base to get back up. And why bother going all the way down through the red crystals again and instead just build a base up here? I'll probably build one to fix that because that was kind of a pain to jump up. And I'm just gonna have to build another little base to get up there. Fortunately, we do have a good distance. Well, I had a good distance. It's not going to connect up to the next spot. So I can place that. I just can't place the next part up there. That seems a little weird. Finally, I had to build up two more tiers. And I mean, technically I could just ignore the whole vertical connector and do a bunch of hatches, but where's the, the fun in that, the, the accuracy of that? And there we go. It's not perfectly lined up it's not pretty but it gets me up here and so now we are i think this is the last leg where i needed to actually build anything yeah because now i'm in the spot where it lets you climb up so, you know you get out safely and of course there's that thing we never bothered grabbing at all and of course we've got nothing here still it's up the mr coffee need the white tablet so now it's a question of of course we had the ability to spawn in precursor tablets in the early game, the first game, I'm sure we can spawn it. So the question is, what's the command? So like it would normally be for any of the precursor keys, because that's what they're called, it's spawn precursor key underscore white for this version. And okay, well that spawned, but it kind of disappeared on me. Let, let's see if we can do it here. Okay, it is spawning, but then it's disappearing it. All right, that that's kind of a, uh, all right. Oh, come on. Maybe I can, uh, cl oh, I can't click it quick enough. All right, so now I'm just going to bypass it because it's really the doors. Uh, and I think it's unlocked doors. All doors are unlocked. Yay. All right, so that works. I see why it doesn't work any further than that, why you can't pick up the tablet. Because look, there's literally nothing in here. It's, it's, the floor is not even fully textured and then we just go here so they they didn't even have this part of it done oh uh, you can see inside too well that would explain why they didn't want to let you actually keep the white tablet in the end while there are a few things i could still check out if i switched to experimental i am totally against doing that just because as buggy as stable version is i do not even want to deal with the bugs in experimental so instead we're just going to unlock a few things such as let's start with the indoor grow bed all right that should be the right command unlock planter box yep there we go okay we got that we'll do uh exterior grow bed too surely and unlock farming tray should take care of that there we go we've got some new things let's, at least we've got the icons for those that's good so yeah and i'm perfectly fine with saving the game at this point because i am going to make some grow beds up here that was kind of the theme for this room gonna have some grow beds i really would like to have those little circular indoor ones like we saw at the uh the omega site base you know it's got that room with the circular planter and that would be kind of cool to have that as a building option for your bases to put 
I mean, yes, it would have to go in one of these little designated spaces, but it would look really cool. Notice that the blueprint looks kind of goofy in a way. Like, or not the blueprint, but the, the ghost for it. That is just looks kind of goofy. It looks like, like you see how the, if you look there, it's very jagged, very like papery looking. Like it's just pieces of paper stacked vertically, glass panes. And then you get right to the edge. You can see the way it looks with the grass too. It's like, it's just unfinished texturing and then bam, it's fun. Uh, uh yo, yeah, okay. Is it going to act like I unlock it now? Well, nope. I can still scan again. <laughs> it's not scanning it like correctly when you look at it a certain way. Look, it's like in some cases the scanning part on the scanner itself went away and they're still doing that. Let's uh, let's try some plants. All right, we're going to start with, of course, the normal full set of marble melon because that's what's normally available in the game anyway let's try no come on give me the option to plant that that better be in the final version of the game that you can plant your own heat fruit even if it takes a lot longer to grow we should be allowed to plant our own heat fruit things all right and we're going to use the moon pool of course because that's one of the favorite spots to place exterior grow beds so I'll have something better. Let's try scanning this. And see, again, it, it's showing blank on the scanner tool, and it's just letting me keep scanning endlessly. All right, so of course, creep vine seed cluster. We get some light. We get creep vine. Ribbon plant? No. Okay, you think ribbon plant would be an option. So I don't know if this command is going to work, but we're going to try spawning in the sea truck planter module. Cannot find it. But I didn't capitalize anything. I didn't sit there and say C truck and i didn't capitalize each part and it just capitalized so it's like it knows what i'm trying to say but that's not there i wonder uh maybe spawn c truck farming module okay see that did not capitalize anything so the player module is the actual name it's supposed to have but it seems like it's not even in the game in a way you could spawn it yes we can unlock it Yes, there's scans all over the place or, you know, certain areas for it. But it actually has no physical presence in the game in that you can create a physical object to interact with. All right, so we're at that point now that there's really not much else I could do in this other than maybe spawning some stuff in. But as far as the story aspect, we're at that end point for the current development stage of the game in Stable. And of course... We already know they're going to be changing up the story because they hired a new writer for that purpose. So, yeah, I, I think I'm going to try to find some more stuff that we might be able to explore a little bit. But if this is not the last episode until full release, this is definitely one of the last because we're at that point. We're out of stuff to look at. But that's going to be it for this episode. So if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I'll see you in the next video.